So what we're seeing right now is a complete shift in the way that organizations are thinking about talent. In the old days, which very recently, they thought about that when a job description, a person description. What we're just starting to see now is companies thinking more about the work itself, how we're getting work done, and then by taking the tasks that are broken down within that piece of work, then using that to actually select the type of talent um, to bring to the organization. By that, I mean the type of contract, whether there be an employee or a contractor, etc as opposed to the old world of um, letting the job description do that. Yeah, so what we're just seeing, and it's very early days in this, but I guess it's a bit of a prediction and some evidence, is using the work itself to decide on what is the best form of employee or contractor or statement of work, etc., to do that based on data. So the example I gave earlier today was around, you know, I need a microsite building. Well, if we can get enough data, you know, the last 184 times we did that, this will produce the best results. And that was a combination of crowdsourcing this piece of it, a couple of freelancers, using one of your employees, a bit of project management. That type of thing, that's what we're starting to see. I think what we've done is, uh, as organizations, we've tried to create um, job descriptions that fit nicely into organizational charts these triangles, and the world just doesn't work that way anymore. It's far flatter now. So these, if you actually look, and I would say to anybody who's watching this video, if you want to amuse yourself, pull the job description out of the door, out of your drawer, and give yourself a laugh, because these are things that it's a collection of tasks that we've tried to cobble together to fill somebody's time. What we're talking about today is the deconstruction of those jobs and saying which elements of these might be done better elsewhere, perhaps at a lower cost or perhaps more efficiently, and what's the real skill we're looking for to, what's the element of that job that this person needs to do? Yeah, I think that if you think about the pure essence of a role of an HR director, you would think that it would be to understand how we're getting work done. From a people perspective, who are those people, what contract do we have with them, where are they based, what is the ROI, et cetera, et cetera. What we're finding is because organizations have become so disparate in the last 10 years and these, these new forms of workers like freelancers and contractors, HR didn't necessarily sit across the top of that procurement did. So there's a real challenge now to actually give a visibility and a lens into how we're getting work done. So the starting point is to literally categorize those, whatever's right for your organization, whatever you call them, and then you know, make sure that we've got that data of what's the skill sets within those, what's the availability, how many of them are there and what are they costing us. Yeah, I think once you've got that picture and you imagine, if you imagine that visually on a wall and saying here's how we're getting work done today and these different types of worker, this the contract have with them, then you can have the conversation, okay, what's our business objectives for the next 12 months, two years? Is that the right shape of organization? Do we have the right talent architecture to get that done? The answer is always going to be no, I'm not quite sure. Well, no, actually that needs to be tweaked. Okay, well now we can put a plan in place to move from that shape and morph the organization into the correct shape for the, to, to deliver on that objective.